I'd been working on the project for years and it began to seem as though it would be a good idea to make what I'd been doing public to draw attention to the importance of the works and their current condition because um, I could have gone on for another few years without publishing but in the meantime the condition of the buildings would deteriorate even further and there would be even less a chance of there being some kind of movement started to make sure that at least a handful of the buildings were able to survive. I mean, unfortunately, none of that has made a jot of difference in terms of the overall mm -hmm. spectrum of uh, issues regarding conservation in, in Russia. It's certainly the modernist legacy, it's just as badly neglected now as it was then. I mean, there's, I'm f sorry to report that there, ha there isn't a single success story to to point up in, in terms of any movement forward in terms of the idea of the buildings being able to survive and move on into the future. Um, because I, you know, I'm, I'm not interested in mothballing them. I mean, the whole issue of conservation is a very large problem and, and needs to be thought of carefully. I mean, you can end up with a handful of mothballed buildings that are indicative of a certain idea but maybe don't have any real validity in terms of the modern context and so you know I don't really want that to come to pass but at the same time I don't want to see masterpieces of the order of the Ginsburg Narkonfin building ravaged by completely thoughtless renovations, I mean, which is an equally, well, it's a possibility that exists alongside with its destruction, which is, you know, they're both equally it's about equally bad horrible. solutions to the problem. Why does the work continue to resonate? Well, in, in, in terms of the architecture, the ideas that were put forward then are just as radical now as they were at the time of their introduction. I mean, the, the whole premise of the idea of the new architecture for the new society is one that is still, I think, very interesting to, to the people who are thinking about architectural ideas and how to move the architectural discourse forwards in, in, the, con, in the contemporary moment. Uh, the ideas that the architects were putting forwards about reorganizing the whole structure of, of the society are, are just as important today as they were then. In memory of David Sarkeesian, 1947-2010, right. would you like to comment on his uh, role, on his contribution? Well, David was, I mean, he gave the go-ahead for the first exhibition and he'd said, well, the only space I have available is the Ruina. And that was the space that I had always dreamed about putting a show up anyway since the first time I saw it. So, of course, I leapt at the opportunity. And uh, this all happened in about six weeks flat. There was no time at all from start to finish till they had to be hanging. So the last print, which was the bakery, coming off the plotter as the taxi was waiting to take me to the airport. And that was here? <laughs> that was here on 20th and Street. And yeah, Boston. and I rolled them up in, in a tube and carried them in. Done very simply. It was done for economy and speed, and so we just had no frames. They were just hanging in space, supported by some metal uh, V-section stuff bolted back to back mm -hmm. through little punch holes in the edges of the paper of the prints. Very effective in terms of the kind of immediacy of the objects hanging in space. They're all more or less the same size. Except. What was the key to the design of the radio tower by Shukov on Shabalovska Street? The, the whole structure was based on the idea of, of the two use sections of steel to give it rigidity and, and strength. They were originally designed to be, to be water towers that could be sent out in kit form and assembled on site mm -hmm. very simply and quickly. And, and he used the same system of engineering which he devised of hyperboloids of rotation. It was incredibly efficient and incredibly strong. And there's, there's calculations about the equations of, of the or the ratio between the mass of steel and the Eiffel Tower and, and the radio tower and Shabalovsky. It's something like 
25% of the weight in terms of materials for twice the height. You know, it's incredible mm -hmm. it, uh, upgrade in the kind of efficiency of structural stability.